lads, mate, we're here. This week I've been helping Dave Wellham down at Air Masters 88. Today we were sitting down having a bit of lunch and I was reading Air Gun Shooter, uh, which is one of the magazines I read every month. And in there there was an article about this HFT competition that's been set up um, and starts this Sunday, the 28th. Um, it's called HFT Extreme. And uh, me and Dave were thinking about doing it. And I phoned one of the organisers tonight, Dave Hatfield, and he's convinced me that it's going to be worth doing. Uh, I've not done a lot of HFT, I think I've been around two courses ever in my life. Um, so I'm expecting to be really rubbish at it, um, but I think it's going to be good fun. Um, I'm going to be using the R10, which I haven't shot a great deal. Um, uh, I, I mean, I've been out and shot it at sort of set distance and so on, um, but I've never done anything like this with it um, and I'm going to be using a scope that Dave Wellham is lending me um, so it's going to be interesting uh, they're calling it the Extreme Series um, it's going to be the best of three um, scores over four events uh, four venues um, the first one is going to be the Wendover New um, new venue at Wendover um, then there's going to be two down in Wales and then the last one's going to be a, the original Wendover uh, venue back up here unfortunately for me Wendover's only down the road so that's all good I am looking forward to it and uh, the only thing is it's Sunday and it's Friday morning early hours of Friday morning now I've only just had a bath and got myself ready after you know, being out with Dave helping him um, today. I've got a couple of bits I've got to do before I go to bed. I'm helping Dave out all day tomorrow. So really, I've only got Saturday to try and get my gun put together um, and try to get some idea of what it shoots at different ranges. Um, I may take a trip to Pete's Air Gun Farm for that. Uh, it's going to be interesting, so here we go, I'm looking forward to this. It is going to be extreme. 